Hey guys, welcome back to home. It is I, me here, and we are going to continue. Left that off coming into this place. And we, the only thing we did was check the locker and come over here and notice this thing. So we have three doors. So let's, let's actually go back and start from the right. We want to keep everything in order so that we don't have to worry about mix-ups. Every part of this plant smelled old and rotted. I noticed the old bulletin board on the wall. That one? <laughs> the board contained yellowed clippings of newspaper cartoons and notices. There were notes to and from the guys that worked here. One of them was to Norman, who was one of the older guys on the line. He has an old guy name. That's, that's fine. Alright, so we got one door and a table. Our old break table. The, the layer of dust and grime only made seeing this sting more. Our? So we used to work here. That's where we came from. Alright, right to left. Did it say that when we got here? I don't I don't know that it did. The door had been hastily boarded up, so we need to find something to open that. And then left. <coughs> this was Norman's locker. The door was dented, like someone had punched it. I don't remember doing that when we worked there. Hmm, a power panel. Looked like it was shut off. Did I push the switch? Yes. Green. Green is on. A utility shelf. Crammed with mismatched tools and items. There was a claw hammer on the shelf. Did I take the hammer? As I took the hammer, I noticed it wasn't as dusty as the rest of the tools on the shelf. So that's a murder weapon. We just picked it up. So we're, we're going to jail. The locker was a complete mess. Hidden at the bottom, though, was a magnetic card. Yes. I slipped the key card into my pocket. I'm sure there's a door that needs it. We turn this on. We push it. Nope. We push it. It was... What? Okay, so we have another one. No. Yes. Okay, so both of these are on. And we got the key card. There's another one. And it is on. The open locker was stuffed with dirty work clothes and old boots. There was a photo of a woman taped to the inside, but it was scratched out and the face was unrecognizable. She's probably been murdered, you know, no big deal. Okay, and that one is on, so that's five. That should be it. The car key that I found seemed like it would pass through this reader. Did I use the key card? Yes. Did I say card key? Oops. Hmm, <laughs> that doesn't look safe. There was some kind of ventilation hatch there. Looked like I could jump to the room below. My leg hurt enough as it was, but I couldn't see another option. Why not? Oh man, my leg hurt like hell. Uh oh. Did we break something? There was a crumpled up letter on the floor. It had been scratched out heavily and it was hard to make out. Did I try to read the- Yes, you try to read it. Most of the letter was violently scratched out with what looked to be a ballpoint pen. All I could make out was need to. Just don't. Drinking. Need. Norman. Who was Norman writing to? Oh, it was like a signature at the bottom. That poor guard. Was the flashlight I carried his? Looked like he had met his end violently. I only hoped it was quick. I had to get home to Rachel, but I couldn't stop thinking about Norman. He and Rachel were friends. Could he... Could he help? It wasn't like I really had anyone else to turn to. My leg burned with pain. I only hoped I could find my way through the dark path before me... The dark path before me and get to Norman's store. So Norman and my wife were friends. And... Norman has his own store. Wife. Wherever you may be right now. I'm sleeping with Norman. I'll kill you if you were. If somebody else didn't get to it first. I hope we, like, covered enough ground in there. Oh, I think we missed some things. But I don't think there's any way back. A dumpster. A, oh. The garbage bin was a disgusting mess of rotted food and slick black bags. I saw a thin greenish corner poking out from one of the bags. Ew, what is it? It was my driver's license. 
It looked damaged. Did I take it back? Yes, you need it. I cleaned the card off as best I could. It looked pretty beat up. I was amazed to have found my credit card. And now this. I tucked the card into my wallet next to my credit card. Not that it's any use anymore. Oh, my controller started vibrating again. It sounded like it was going to start raining again. Oh, oh it, was just, it was just for a second. I had entered Norman's place. This was the back of the store that he ran. It was oddly quiet, except for a faint sound of a television. Is Norman already dead? Okay. Right to left. It seemed to work efficiently. Right to left. What the heck? One of Rachel's old autumn coats hung on a wreck? That was Norman's bedroom, wasn't it? What was this doing here? I have already called that. There was a well-maintained gun cabinet here in Norman's room. I didn't know much about guns, but it looked like he kept a few hunting rifles. Norman, where are you? So the front of the store was locked from the inside. Looked like I couldn't just pop it open. I needed a key. There was a bit of blood on the keyhole. Oh, okay, so we couldn't go that way anyway. Oopsies. So we're going to go through blood door. The TV still flickered some indecipherable channel. Yeah, well, oh, hello. Oh, no. I couldn't believe what I was saying. Norman, my co-worker and one of the few friends I had in this town, lay dead beside his armchair. Probably because he was sleeping with my wife. His face and shirt were covered in blood, but it looked like he'd been killed trying to get up. His eyes were still wide with shock. Norman, what was Rachel doing here? Why did you have her coat? Norman, maybe you deserved better. You probably did. Did I close his eyes? Mmm. We'll do it out of respect, but I highly believe he was sleeping with my wife. I closed his eyelids down, shuddering as I did so. I wasn't sure if I, if wanted to... K I wasn't sure if should say I, I think wanted to give him peace, or if I just couldn't stand to think about, think any more about what was going on. Probably the latter. Hmm, kitchen table. I guess this was Norman's kitchen table. He kept it clean enough, but there were water rings from two cups still in the wood. I'm telling you guys, he was sleeping with my wife. The kitchen trash bin smelled fresh. I didn't dig through that mess, did I? Yes, you did. I found a hairpin amongst the rotting food and trash and pocketed it. You know what you can do with a hairpin? Pick a lock. Pick the front door lock. Get out, killer. What was this? It looked like a pole chain hanging from the ceiling. It didn't... Hold on, no. It doesn't look like that. I thought, like, maybe it was a light. I mean, I guess... Let's pull it. I gave the chain a single tug and a simple folding ladder to the attic popped down. Mm okay. We'll go it. We still got a room, I think. That's weird. That's not good. That's that's just a light. There was a large cardboard box that hadn't been sealed. Did I open it? I opened up the old cardboard box and wasn't wasn't entirely surprised by what I saw. There were more of Rachel's things. More of my wife's clothes. Photos, shoes, and even that old radio I gave her. Why, Rachel? What were you doing here with Norman? What man doesn't already, like, put two and two together here? Like, your wife is at another man's house. What do you think she's doing there? She ain't just over there planting flowers. Or they, you, you know what? I'm just gonna leave that one alone. I used a hairpin to, to pick the lock. The hairpin snagged, snapped in half, so I threw it away. Naturally, after it unlocked it. The general store was small, but it was clean. It had the usual things. Postcards, snacks, magazines, and canned goods. I never went there much. Rachel usually stopped by after work if we needed anything. So it had already begun. The register was mostly empty, and a fat stack of travel magazines sat beside it. Did we rob him? <laughs> I really think it's us, guys. Let's go through here. That night continued to take horrible turn after horrible turn. It had been weeks since I'd last seen Norman, but to find him like that, 
Who could have done that to him? Seeing those dust, the seeing that dusty box of those old clothes was a shock. How long had they been there? And what was Rachel doing at Norman's place? I felt like I had only discovered more questions, no answers, but I was close to home. It was time to find out the truth. Oh, I bet this one's mine. I wanna know. I wanna know. I don't wanna go home yet. The neighborhood's local post box. A letter was sticking out as if someone hadn't pushed it all the way in. I knew it wasn't right, but did I look at the letter? Yeah. The envelope was addressed to Norman, of course. There was no return address, but the handwriting looked familiar. I took a deep breath and tore open the package. Norman, I'm sending this to you in a letter because I'm afraid to tell you this in person. What we did, well, it was wrong. My husband, my husband isn't an easy man to be with, but he is my husband and your friend. I need some time to sort this out, away from you both. I'm going away for a while. I'm going to tell him. Norman, so don't you think you can hold that against me? Maybe we'll work it out. I'm not sure I even want to, but he deserves at least that much. Goodbye. So, yeah, she was cheating on me. Typical. Wrong gate. Where is my house? I had entered our backyard. The rain gave me a terrible sense of foreboding, and it chilled me through my clothes. I was expectant, but also afraid. I mean, if you get there, she's either A, dead, or B, gone. If her letter to Norman said, uh, I held my breath as I approached my R back door. I was terrified to step inside. What do you guys think's inside? The house was painfully quiet. The only sound was my own breathing, ragged and strained. I flicked the light switch by the door. The power was off. I want to end the episode here. But, <laughs> but at the same time, I want to make sure that you guys like don't have to sit through a, a whole nother episode if it's like five minutes more of gameplay. Uh, no, we still have to explore the entire place, so that's fine. Uh, I will leave this one here. We will catch back up in the next episode, which will hopefully be the conclusion. I'll see you guys later. Game on.